While Adobe After Effects is mostly a 2D program, it's actually surprisingly easy to create your own sphere, globe, or even planet. What you mainly need is an image of the whole Earth, where the top and bottom parts appear to be stretched. You've probably seen these images before, and you've wondered to yourself, why is Greenland so big and it's almost the size of the United States? <laughs> Regardless, this is the kind of image you need, because this is how the Earth looks like when you stretch it from a spherical form. Okay, let's do this. Let's now create a new composition in Adobe After Effects. As for the settings, you can keep it simple. You can choose 1920 by 1080, for example. And now I'm going to import my image. And this image can be a regular JPEG or an Adobe Illustrator file. To do that, go on the top left, click File, go to Import, and then choose File. Or you can hit Command or Control I on your keyboard. Now choose the image of the map you have downloaded. Now take the image and drag it down to the composition area. And now you should see a preview of the image. To make things look good, make the image the same size as the composition window. To do that, all you have to do is click to select the image and then hit S on your keyboard to adjust the scaling. Now what you want to do is remove this little clip or pin right here by clicking on it. And this will allow you to adjust the width and the height individually. And now let me adjust this image. Let me adjust the width. And now let me adjust the height. And that looks just about right. And once you have done all of this, you are essentially done. All you have to do now is go to the right, click the effects panel, and then in the search bar, type sphere. And now choose CC Sphere, and then click and drag it to the image in the composition. And there you go, here is our sphere. Once you have done this, you should see the effects menu controls on top. If you don't see them on top, then you can see them at the bottom as well. All you have to do is click the layer that contains your image, and then you should see the effects, and then you can click the arrow next to that, and then you can see the effects controls. And now you are done. All you have to do is fine tune your sphere. You can adjust the rotation, and for that, it's best to choose Y. You can adjust the size, and for that, it's best to choose Radius, because it resizes it in a way that's cleaner. And you can even adjust the lighting. So definitely, you can fine tune your sphere. So that's it. For more videos like this, please subscribe, and thanks for watching.